Hi, I'm Mike Pollock, the voice of Dr. Redman, and too many other characters to remember without Googling. And you're watching Ice Anime! They had one job. And they couldn't even Google. A few questions. So, you basically, you are iconic for Dr. Eggman. Arguably. Does, does that ever, um, has that ever stopped you from yeah. trying to roles? Not at all. I'm, my job is an actor. Act, my primary job being actor, and then the voice of Dr. Eggman, somewhere down the list. My primary job is still in federal work, so I'm constantly auditioning for all sorts of things. Most of them not as interesting as Dr. Eggman. They could be boring narration jobs or uh, plain old characters and other things, but that's okay. It's my job. It's still a cool more job. Never enough. And then, a lot of people don't know this, but you do, like, the narration for like, the like, King, things like that, like, sure. cinema things. And then, Pokemon narrator. That one of the most iconic things about the show. Do people get shocked when they're like, oh. Most people are shocked when they learn things like I was the voice of Ella the Maid in Sonic X because they would have watched Sonic X through their entire childhood and never realized, like, that this is my voice that I'm doing here. Why would they know that? I hate to use the default answer of Pikachu, but I'll say Pikachu because in my early first cameo in a Pokemon episode, we have seen it. the same stuff. There was that. It's not bragging or anything. <laughs> Look it up, Google it, it's there. I'm not thinking like that, because as an actor, you never know where your next paycheck is coming from. So rather than saying, I want to play that guy, it's, I want to play any guy. What would be your favorite uh, platform? Do you prefer doing voice acting for radio, anime, or games, or is it just the same? There are differences in terms of the sequential or lack of sequential nature. Games tend to be a lot more scattered because they can branch off in any different number of ways. And they're often recorded separately with lots of distorted lines that's hard to follow a story. The most fun way to record is the new Sonic Boom TV show way, where we're all together, or at least most of us are together, if not in space, at least in time. There are Los Angeles, I'm in New York, still talking simultaneously most of the past, and we get to tell a story from beginning to end, and I can follow mentally as well as script-wise, oh, this is happening, now this is happening, as opposed to games where, or especially anime dubbing, where it's just your line, your next line, next line, next line, and we're already halfway through the script, we've got four lines and I don't know what's going on. We occupy the same character space, yeah. but not simultaneously, and, and not with any... We are linked in the minds of the fans, but not in the minds of the production company, I guess. I'm sure there's some big se a spreadsheet at Sega where it lists all the actors for all the roles, but there's no, like, formal meet and greet for everyone. I'm lucky that I, that I get to meet the, um, the current cast in L.A. when they find me out there every once in a while for very special occasions, but even them... Uh, when we're recording, it's four hours on Skype, and then bye. Talk to you next time. So wow. I wish we were all as buddy buddy, but they're all in LA, so I'm sure they see each other all the time. But me, it's. Do you acknowledge me on Twitter, please? Do you think it's a advantage of being a voice actor? So you kind of look the same like you're not getting harassed by people. Yeah, I enjoy. Well, I, I guess enjoying the anonymity as well. I appreciate the anonymity. Being able to pop down the street. I take my son and daughter to GameStop all the time. And you think that people in GameStop would recognize them when we get it. I'll sit there and hold up a Sonic game. Just. Anyone? No one? Great, nothing. So, no. Because I'm. They know the voice, but they don't go to GameStop saying, Look, I'm in GameStop! It doesn't happen. Not a gamer. Not a gamer. I'm not a gamer. Do you have a gamer? I like to remind people they hired me because I can read aloud. No one ever asks, so can you play the game? It's not really required. But I have to tell you, lots of people on social media ask, do you play the game? And I point out, there's a reason for me to play the game. You want to make sure that you design the game to play the game. But the people that are just there to read have to know how to read. 
And are there any projects that you're working on that you can talk about? The thing about uh, voice acting and acting in general, a lot of non-disclosure agreements. So the future doesn't exist for me. There's lots of stuff going on. But I'm not all and you're very active on social media. That's really nice because a lot of the other voice actors are uh, producers, directors, and they're just incredibly busy. So it's really nice when there is occasionally you make a comment of, oh, I watched the latest episode, Mike Pollock, and then you're like, yeah, man. One thing I, I like to remember, because it's important to live by, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. So if you can make someone's day by acknowledging them on social media, within reason, once, twice, yes. 28 times, not necessarily. But if you can say something nice about someone, you can just acknowledge their existence. You should. Thanks so much for your time, Mike. Thanks for asking. And thanks for watching! I did it again.